Unaided by modern instruments, these extraordinary explorers discovered and settled every livable landmass in the Pacific, relying solely on a complex understanding of the stars, the winds, the waves, and other cues from nature. It's still 360 degree circle, divided in 32 so-called even houses, star houses, which comes out to 11 and a quarter degrees. North is Akao, and then south is Hema, and then east is Hikina, and then Komohana. So you, so you, you create the quadrants by those four star houses. And then it evenly places northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. If you go from north to east, in that quadrant, that is Ko'olau. Then if you go from east to south, that's gonna be Malanai. And then south to west, that's gonna be Kona. And then from west back to north, 360s, that's gonna be a Ho'olua. There's seven star houses with each quadrant, Ibila, Aina, Noyo, Manu, Nalani, Naleo, and Haka. If you multiply that by the four, that's 28, plus the cardinal points. That's how you get the 32, Haka. You can take it from the northeast and fold it into the southeast. You can take it from the northeast, you can fold it into the northwest. In reality, when you're at sea, that star compass is your ocean horizon. When we voyage, I never feel alone. I feel loved. I feel like I'm part of something great. I feel like my kupuna, my ancestors are there with me. And they're telling you where you are if you would just listen. We have a deep connection to our environment. And when you sever that connection, we lose part of who we are. And I don't want to do that. All you really need to know where you are is in your mind. And you'll never be lost.